A few weeks ago, I made some sulfuric acid from drain cleaner. But I was disappointed because the acid emitted a sulfurous smell, which pure sulfuric acid shouldn't have. And that probably means some SO2 is in the acid. So today, what I'm gonna do is make some pure sulfuric acid without any smell. So I just pour some drain cleaners into the big flask. The first thing I need to do is oxidize the organic impurities and SO2 in drain cleaner just with some hydrogen peroxide which can react with the sulfuric acid and form peroxysulfuric acid solution which is usually called as Piana solution one of the strongest oxidizer it can easily oxidate the organic impurities to carbon dioxide and water and sulfur dioxide to sulfuric acid so with hydrogen peroxide the drain cleaner is cleaned as you can see, the color of the cleaner just became colorless, means that the most impurities in it is gone. And now, to make concentrated sulfuric acid, what I need is fractional distillation. In this procedure, soluble salt that may exist in the cleaner and some water will be taken away. Then, the concentrated sulfuric acid gas, which in theory has a concentration of 98.5. But anyway, there's one problem unsolved. The boiling acid should bubble in smoothly when distilling. But in some cases, the bubble can't form successfully. So the acid just bump. And that may cause the glass to be broken. And the boiling acid would easily make huge damage. And that would be definitely a disaster. So to avoid this, what's needed is a glass tube with one end be sealed. When boiling, the air in the tube just came out and take the bubbling away. The reason to use the air condenser is that the boiling point of acid is 339C, while the water is typically just 30C. The high temperature difference would make the glass work correct. As all the things are ready, I build a setup and turn on the heater. A few minutes later, the acid started to boiling and bubbling smoothly, also becomes slightly yellow. Meanwhile, some liquid is coming out and getting into the receiving flask. But the thermometer shows that the boiling point of the liquid is only about 130 Celsius, which means the liquid would probably just some water. About half an hour later, the temperature climbed up to about 330 Celsius and stay. So I changed the receiving flask to a new one to collect the pot with higher boiling point. After a few hours of distilling, what's left in the big flask is some lemon yellow liquid with some precipitate at the bottom which I use to sink should it exist and to prevent the liquid from boiling away, I turn off the heater. What I finally got is two flasks of sulfuric acid and the total volume of it is about one liter. So I just put them all in a brown bottle. To test the concentration of the sulfuric acid, I just take a little bit of it and drop it on the paper. And a few minutes later, what's forming the center of the paper is just a hole. I'm Kamichiri, see you next.